Hey, what's up everybody? Breaking news on this May the 17th, 2024, Silver has officially broken that very, very tough barrier of $30 per ounce, blown past that $30 per ounce if we really want to keep it real. I have been monitoring, watching this the past several days ever since Wednesday when silver got very, very close to hitting $30 per ounce, fell a little bit short from what I could tell. Silver only reached on Wednesday, May the 15th, $29.92. On this video, I'll be sharing with you my thoughts, my opinions. Please don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on the video and share your thoughts, your opinions, in that comment section below. But why are the metals rising now? Why did silver finally hit $30? So let's go over the spot prices really quick. As I'm recording this video, silver is up 3.39% or up $1, $1 to $30.57. Gold is up a little bit more than 1%, up 1.08%, up $25.60 to $2,402.10. Platinum is up about a half a percent or up $6 to $1,076. Palladium, as I'm recording this video, is flat. It's not up, it's not down and rhodium also same thing it's not up it's not down it's just flat but why are the metals going up like they are and we have to go back in my opinion to may the 15th cpi data was reported and inflation still going up by the way but not going up by as much as the experts the economists the media thought it was going to so Inflation going up while still going up, but it's going up, it seems, a little bit slower than expected. And everything after that CPI data was released, everything immediately started to go up. Yes, we saw pullbacks. Like I said, on Wednesday, I saw silver hit about $29.92. And yesterday, on Thursday, May the 16th, we saw some pullbacks. Not exactly sure where silver closed yesterday, but it was somewhere around $29.70. Everybody is speculating, and now will Jerome Powell, when they meet, when the FOMC meets, when will the interest rate cuts start? Now, let's be honest, the media, everybody has been speculating on interest rates cuts even when he was still raising interest rates everybody was hoping and wishing that the cuts would finally start will the cuts begin this year in 2024 will they be in september your guess is as good as mine i will be looking at that cme FedWatch tool to give you an update. What do they say? What is the greatest likelihood as of right now, as of recording this video, as of May the 17th, 2024, when and if the Fed will start cutting rates this year in 2024? But as far as CPI, when the CPI data was released about inflation, like I said, inflation still going up, but it seems like it's going up slower than expected. The monthly increase was 0.3%, slightly below the 0.4% estimate and a 12 month rate of 3.4%. Core inflation, which excludes food and energy, in my opinion, I think it should include it because everybody has to buy food and spend money on energy. I think core inflation should include it, but they say that it doesn't include it because it's so volatile, but everybody needs it. So I think it should, but it's not. But anyway, core inflation, which excludes food and energy, ran at a 0.3% rate, monthly rate, and 3.6% annually 
the lowest since April 2022. And after that was announced, everything really started to go up. That was from a CNBC article from May the 16th. And everybody is speculating now that interest rates will be cut this year in 2024. Now, the big question is, well, a couple of big questions. Will silver maintain $30 or will we see some pullbacks? In my opinion, I always expect to see pullbacks. How long will silver stay above $30 an ounce? Your guess is as good as mine, please. Try not to FOMO today. I know FOMO is very real. People are going to think that silver and gold will keep going up and it won't come back down. But I personally, I, I am expecting that we will see some pullbacks. I would like to reference an article from FX Empire. Silver prices surge as markets near key $30 level. Well, the big news today is it passed that $30 level. Silver prices are approaching multi-year highs driven by growing expectations of an interest rate cut by the Federal Reserve. The market is posed for a second consecutive weekly gain reflecting bullish sentiment as traders eye the psychological $30 mark. Well, we have definitely passed that psychological $30 mark. Now, will it hold? Will it stay above $30 an ounce? That's something that we'll have to keep an eye on. Interest rate cuts expectations. Now, this is where I think everything is going up. I think most of us expected that once rates are cut, then we are going to start seeing assets and a lot of things go up. The question is, how fast will they go up? Good question. U.S. consumer prices rose less than expected in April, reinforcing hopes for a September cut as inflation trends downward and that's where I think we should be watching if rates are cut in my opinion is in September but let's keep in mind that a lot of these experts were first saying that we are going to see cuts in June we are going to see cuts in July now it's we're going to see cuts in September will that September cut happen there's a lot of time between now on May the 17th, 2024 and September. We have to see how these things play out. Retail sales data showing no growth in April further supports the possibility of monetary easing, suggesting cooling domestic demand. The increasing likelihood of a rate cut has bolstered silver prices with the possibility of a September cut raising to 73% from 69% prior to the data release. Well, let's check and see if that's right. Let's check the CME group FedWatch tool and see what they are saying for the possibility of a Fed rate cut in September. CME group FedWatch tool is showing now there's a lot of time between now and then anything can change. The data can absolutely change, but it is showing right now, according to what I'm seeing, that there's a 50.7% possibility that rates will be cut by a quarter of 1%, 32.4% possibility that rates will remain unchanged, and a 15.8% possibility that rates will be cut by 50% basis points in September. Let me know in the comment section below, do you think rates will be cut this year in 2024 at all? Do you think they'll be cut once in September? Do you think they'll start cutting in July? Or do you think there will be zero rate cuts in 2024 and we won't see the rates start to be cut, the federal funds interest rates start to be cut until next year in 2025. 
I think the popular opinion is rates will be cut in September, but those who are rooting on interest rate cuts have seen disappointment before because like I said, it's been widely speculated months ago that rates were going to be cut in June. Now, all the chatter is rates being cut in September, but will it happen? What do you think about the silver price? Do you think we will see silver anytime soon? Pull back below $30 per ounce. Before ending this video, let's finish up. It looks like silver's up a little bit more than when I started this video. Silver is currently up 3.43% or up $1.01 to $30.58. Do you believe it will hold? Do you believe we'll see a rather large pullback anytime soon? I think it all depends, in my opinion, on what the talk is in the media about interest rates. The next FOMC meeting from the time I am recording this video is 26 days away. We have a long time before September and we still have a long time before the next FOMC meeting. I think whatever transpires in that meeting and what Jerome Powell says at the next time that he speaks which is going to be on June the 12th, 2024, is going to move these markets once again. And also there's going to be several CPI reports being released between now and September. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in that comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. $30 silver. Silver has passed that barrier, that very, very tough barrier of $30 per ounce. How long will it last? Thanks everybody for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks everyone.